Good day, good people. Welcome to Gufu Gulu. It is back to my favorite topic, food. First up, the first dish we have is chicken chop. I think chicken chop is one of my go-to foods when I cannot decide what to eat. Because it's not much carbs, and it's also not too fried. And there are also side dishes to help with the appetite. Next dish, we have Tin Tai Fong's Egg Fried Rice. This is like a one dish wonder. And for an after meal snack, we got Ochang Kee's Sotong Head. This is so fried and so oily but so delicious. And then we also got Ochang Kee's Chicken Curry Puff, which they put an egg in. Next, we have a breakfast dish. This is Chui Kui. It is steamed rice cake with preserved radish. Oh, we have another breakfast and this is from McDonald's. <laughs> okay. This is the scrambled egg chicken burger. This is best eaten when it's hot. And the sauce that they put in was also very tasty. And of course, the cheese helped as well. The chicken patty looks a little bit like a hut. Next, we have sweet potato soup. There's also added ginger for the spice and health benefits. This dish is ayam penyet, it's a Malay dish. Penyet means flatten. So what they do is the chicken is fried and then they pound the chicken to flatten it. And it comes with an egg and cabbage. Food enthusiasts will know what the next dish is by looking at the sauces. Did you guess it correctly? It is a local dish, Hainanese chicken rice. Seems like they gave a lot of meat. How generous! There's so much meat until you can't see the rice. There you go, some gravy and rice. For chicken rice rice, the rice is cooked in chicken broth, so it's considered to be seasoned. And a few days later, we got chicken rice again. It's like one of the most accessible food dishes you can find. Next, we're having zizha. Zizha means a wide selection of common hawker dishes. So we have milk cabbage, fried egg, asam stingray, and sambal tofu prawns, all eaten with rice. This noodle dish is called laksa. It's a popular spicy noodle dish in Southeast Asia. And the soup is coconut based. Next, we have minced pork noodles. We are back with McDonald's again to try the roasted sesame and seaweed McShaker fries. And I ordered Mac wings. Here I'm eating garlic bread. The bread we are using is baguette. And all hail the king of fruits, durian. We got three different kinds. Durians come in many varieties. They even have their own breeds. Some taste sweet, some taste bitter, some taste watery, some taste creamy. Depends what you like. And then someone is eating the same thing again, Chui Kuei. Next, we are eating Korean food. And I ordered kimchi ramyeon. Oh wait, it was kimchi dumpling ramyeon. This looks like some brains. And the next Korean dish is bibimbap. Definitely way healthier than the previous one because this consists of a lot of vegetables. Eggs are good too. The third dish that we got was tofu stew. This one somehow had a seafood taste, even though there was no seafood inside. They put in tofu, carrots, seaweed, cabbage, I think there's eggs. And it's a clear soup. And on top of rice, they also added thick glass noodles. Nice. We are gonna mix the bibimbap. And the meat choice was Korean spicy chicken. What makes good bibimbap is usually the sauce. There's this special Korean sauce. And then speaking of Korean, somebody wanted to order 1kg of kimchi. 
Seems like the fermentation is good for health. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you can like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you again tomorrow. Click one of the two videos for more content.